on mobile. I don't know if we're going to do it. I mean, if we do a $500 mini ITX build, if AMD, it's going to be an APU. And then Intel, I don't know if it's possible. <laughs> so maybe like 900 to 1,000 for both. I mean, I don't know. What are you thinking? They're saying like six to nine. They thousand. really, they really. We can try 500, but it's just going to be an APU. I think we should do 600. 600? Yeah, because we had a couple 650, 600, 600. This is that we might be able to slap a graphics card in it, but we're probably still going like 3200G. So this is going to be a challenge. Yeah, so 3200G. I'll do the AMD one. So right now that's 94 bucks, which is not half bad. It's a little bit less no, than normal. Not. So 3200G, it's just a quad-core processor. This is definitely a mini ITX build. We're going to put a disclaimer out there. Mini ITX, you get the small form factor, but you're paying a premium for the motherboards. That's pretty much... Quad-core. It's pretty much how it goes. So we're going quad-core, and we're going to make a new wish list. So there is a 3100 in stock, John, um, but it is $129. And at that price, we'd rather just honestly go with the 3200G because it's also a... a actually, no, 3100 is a quad-core core thread. thread. It yeah, depends. but even then, I mean... But I the, the thing is, like, we'll see where we're at once we get the mini ITX board and everything, because I have a feeling that we're going to be closer to, like, the $400 mark after that, and if we went $3,100, we'd only have, like, $70 for a GPU, and at that point, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So yeah. This is where it gets expensive, lads. Oh, my goodness. Cheapest one I just saw was 119 I mean, it's probably the best we got, B450i. That's 139, 119. So this is where it gets expensive is for these guys. That's only two. I mean, most mini ITX are just two sticks. RX 580 versus 1650 Super versus 5500 XT. I would personally do a used RX 580 um, or a new 1650 Super because it has the NVENC encoder. Yep. Um, 5500 XT is also a great option. It just, it, it's kind of like just getting a new 580, honestly, to me. So, yeah. Yeah, so we'll go to this motherboard. We'll go with 16 gigs of RAM because, I mean, any system nowadays, I would go 16 gigs if you can. This is a really good deal. The 30. GPU would probably recommend for a 3200G would be like a 5600 XT, um, like 1650 Super, 1660 Super, something along those lines. Yeah. I feel like we have to go value here. This is pretty value. <sighs> value for money. 16 gigs, 3200 megahertz. This should be more than enough. Because especially if you're running the APU, like you could operate, but then you're losing like some of that for VRAM. So you definitely want to get RAM. 16. So we'll go with that. 16 gigs. And then we need storage. Let's do 500 gigabytes. Anything less than this, I don't know. 500 gigs. Be crucial with that P1 coming in crutch. You're probably going to be playing Call of Duty on an APU, but hey, you got the option now. So we stream, GB, we stream Monday morning, Wednesday morning, Friday morning, and then uh, Sunday afternoon for gaming. Um, and then also once a month, one of our Friday morning streams is replaced with a 12-hour live stream where we build a PC live, we give it away, we play a bunch of games. It's pretty epic. This is a cool case. I like the one we built in this one. All right, we'll go with this. So this is gonna be—I don't know—I don't think the mail-in rewrite is gonna show up, but it'd be fifty bucks. Yeah. So we'll just keep an eye on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then we need a power supply. This supports a full power supply. The real question is, do we want to go with a modular one, or should we just be cable management masters? I think oh, the shipping's God. like almost ten dollars. That's so bad. Yes, yeah, right, so we chat. are cable masters. You do, guys, you guys know about that. A PVA, or do we just put the heck power supply on there, and you all just deal with the fact that it's on back order? Heck or a PVA? Go, chat. Go. The heck one's eighty plus certified. It has all of the cables you could need, and on top of that, they're all black individually sleeved cables. The heck power supplies, for those who don't know, they're actually like an OEM for I think someone said EVGA. <laughs> Honda really did do eight. <laughs> Thank you. Or did do? That's I'm, more than eight. Didn't he did nine? Nine, nine biddies. Ooh. Everyone said heck. All right, you all you all have good standards. Thank you for correcting my. So mistakes. back order, septic is basically where you can order it now, but it's um, being pulled from like a factory from somewhere else. So you know they they know that it's yours and you've already bought it. It's just gonna take a little bit to actually get to you and to get to the company. Oh, 10 bits. Here we go. It's a bid war. Is this a bid war? Bid war. Okay, so I think I got everything. What do they win? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, so we have. 80 180 dollars for a gpu i mean that's 1650 super right yeah i think that's about it <laughs> that's i mean that's that's pretty much 1650 super so you get a high-end 1650 super you know what i'm saying yeah so let's, let's go with this guy yeah 169 so this actually turned out to be not a bad little mini itx pc i kind of like it <laughs> you win honda there you go you won good job you get a pat on the back
All right, let's look at this wish list. Right. Oh, God. Yeah, with mail and rebate, it'll be right at 600 So, Look at that, chat. What do you think of this PC? How would you rate it? Yeah, there's really no delay anymore. Um, Wedig. W w wide glide wide glide um, wedding <laughs> yeah there's no delay anymore with like usb hubs and stuff so if you can buy a usb 3 hub you know by all means go for it keyboard and mouse this is just a pc we're not doing a setup here we did not say setup we said computer all right that's, that's pretty good so definitely one thing i would recommend if you do end up like just building it with a graphics card if you've managed to find the 3100 for 99 dollars yeah, get that. that like definitely get that that'll smack the 3200 yeah so but i mean in terms of just like right now i like it that's for a 1650 yes. super by the way not a 1650 six yeah 1650 not a 1660 are you ready for me to all right let me, me get this can you switch crack that build you switch oh yeah back good so point good can... point good all right first thing i'm gonna do you know just just to test the water oh into into i3 9100f i mean that's probably the best idea right now and they'll probably he'll be able to get a better gpu i'm just curious what they got you know there it is Ooh, it went up he's <laughs> like dude oh. it usually was like 69 bucks 79 it's i don't even want to do it anymore you do a pentium gold dude, it's time to do the 5400 Ugh. what's the really cheap is it b360 it's an H310. H310. I don't know if there'll be many ITX for H310s, but you can try. I'm doing it. Six two. If you resident sleeper one more time, I'm kicking you to existence. Ooh, bro. dude, you're gonna get. Oh dear. You God. got it coming for you, dude. I mean, just to keep the stream stable. This isn't even like that great of a deal, honestly, for mini ITX. Actually, I guess it's pretty decent for mini ITX. If it was micro, it would not be a good deal. 1650 Super or 570 for the 3200G. If you can buy a used GPU, get a 580, not a 570. It's not that much more expensive, and it gives you a good amount more performance. So I'd go that route. But 1650 Super is about 580 level performance. So, <clears throat> so how's that going over there? Same so RAM. So far, so good, I'm feeling. Yeah, same RAM. Uh, I'll probably do the same SSD, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Cause that was just such a good deal. Like I've never, I've never seen them below uh, sixty dollars. Yeah, that's actually really. Did you? There it is. Wait, no. Did I, did I just get the last one? I didn't buy it, but I didn't got it. You might be able to find it from that one terabyte list. I thought maybe someone already bought it, and I was gonna be like, "Dang." Do you, you saw guys. the pieces make on YouTube? We do not. No. Uh, let's see. Ten fifty Ti, I think. Yeah, there's a white Asus ten fifty Ti, but like you can get higher end cards that are all white, but they're normally like. 50 to 60 bucks more expensive so it just depends if you that's something you're interested in or not we gotta do the heck again too but evga is a trusted brand so i feel like you know why not plus three dollars off sure. is 16 gigs of ram okay for streaming and video editing or should i get 32 gigs for most people 16 should be fine uh unless you start diving into like 4k video editing and stuff like that then i'd probably go 32 uh but to get started 16 gigs is definitely a minimum if you're going to want to do video editing and streaming actually i'm kind of digging this one. i remember seeing that case that, um, we were looking at that for a build at one point. It's very long, that. too, so I'm assuming it's so it can co accommodate a nice long card. Yeah, it looks sick. Dude, we could do volume discount. 52 bucks each if you buy 6 to Ooh, 11. Ooh, we need 6 of them. I'm at 700. Are you at 700? How'd you get that high, Cybershark? What GPU would you go with? Oh, is it $700? Yeah. Probably a 2080. I'm probably just trying to fit something really stupid in it. Tough one with $5 promo. I honestly do not know if this is within budget now, but... I think we might be over, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. All right, guys. Because I can't think of doing a what $600 do 1660 Super. Bowl. I know, I can't either, but you know what? We're about to break the inevitable. I'm going to say it's 650 right now. I'm going to say it's like 620 Oh, wow. 614 it's two bucks more. But there's also promotions, so $5 off, uh -oh. $3 off, and that's it. I mean, that's pretty... Close. That makes it like a little less than six ten. Nice. Watch you and guys while in my Zoom class. Well, say hello to your Zoom class. So although thirty two hundred G, you know, you're on that Ryzen platform. You get the upgrade path. This build right here out of the box will perform better. It's going to perform better. Yes. Uh, they'll be back streaming Sunday. We'll be all back Monday. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys again for watching, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Goodbye.